Good morning and hi everyone. So today we would like to propose our product TTS UTEM text to speech transformation application for MIX 2024. First of all, I would like to introduce member of this particular project. So this project is led by Anita Gopinathan, a fourth year student, computer engineering FTKEK UTEM. So followed by me, Nick Muhammad Zarifi Hashim, uh, Dr. Muhammad Haris, Dr. Mahmoud Dewi Sustio, our partner from Telkom University Bandung, Indonesia, followed by Associate Professor Dr. Muhammad Ridwan Ahmad, followed by Associate Professor Dr. Muhammad Zainul Abidin Abdul Aziz, Dr. Ruzia Ali, and finally our collaborator from Perbadanan Kota Buku, uh, Madam Adibah Omar. So let me introduce our proposed product. This is TTS system exists for widely spoken language English, Mandarin, and Spanish, and however, it's still not widely been used in some languages in Southeast Asia region, such as Malay language. So for this reason, basically, we are targeting to be the key player to put a reliable and economical provider for TTS in Southeast Malaysia, especially for Malaysian language, to assist the technologies for visual impaired person and automated voice recognition services or language learning tools. So the problem that we face at that particular time is scarcity of annotating speech corpora, and we need to accurate process the modeling and so on and the this particular languages is complex of the Malay phonetic as well as the we do have several languages to do this basically we set out three objective for this particular project so we will conduct the rigorous evaluation and benchmarking towards the TTS system which we will use the benchmark SOTA data sets so then we try to overcome and improve the user experience overall the quality and somehow at the end of the presentation we would like to propose one simple and reliable and effective apps for helping people to translate from text to speech for Malay language. Okay, right. Comparison with the existing apps which are available from the survey that we have done. So basically, there will be two concerns issues whereby the first is price and the one the other one is limited in free version capability of that particular apps. So first of all, it's an arcade play had 11 lab and speech to speech from Malaysia. So basically, all of the four apps that we show over here is somehow giving a free Malay text speech but they are giving a limited words to translate them from text to voice. So that would be the issues right now. So these are the proposed invention prototype. So we have just a clean apps here. Okay, friendly user interface, obviously clean wide. The apps compute everything in cloud and the analysis will be conducting real time and obviously the real output will be present at the bottom of the apps. So these are the way that we uh, do our apps. So we put some text over here. So we submit to the TTS conversion button to going to the cloud and finally we have the result by speech. So this is the one that we tested the things that happened in Berita Harian, the yesterday news, and we submit it and we try, uh, we convert it to the audio files. Okay, so speaking of authenticity, novelty, or intellectual properties right now, so the apps is free and freely to be used, open source, in Malay, the apps, and here the first systematic and user-friendly apps, so obviously the apps is run by uh, mobiles and anyone can test and utilize the apps free. Okay, so currently the integration level is at par of level number 3 based on TRL jobs to the MOST, so conversion from the text speech in lab currently done for the Malay language to text to the voice. Okay. So we utilize the GTTS whereby this model is uh, adopted from the Google, Google text to speech. So why we, we initiated this product? So basically we can see the Indonesia including the Malaysian language is the top 20 languages used in the world whereby the, the, the total of the speaker is about 200 million people. Okay. So speaking of the can and cannot with the, this particular product, so obviously the, this product is totally free and uh, it's not having a limited uh, access. So based on the standard neural network that, that proposed by the Google and keep your personal information secure and avoid sharing sensitive data. So basically we don't keep anything as far as you submit to the apps and the, the apps will be giving you a voice rather than the other apps is keeping your files and history to uh, seek the data and so on. And this app could be customized easily in future and so to be benefit and impact to society so basically we try to support the networking between our researcher peers and mentors and expertise so if this app is available to all the society in especially in Malaysia so basically people good in access and inclusively involved in this particular RR 4.0 and AI development right now so we try to strengthen the community bond during between the people to people whereby this particular apps could be used for the YouTube or influencer in order uh, alternately use their voice and voice over kind of things so positive impact to all uh, well-being so uh, this particular apps could be used by the teachers also in the uh, school for making a good and attractive apps to the students primary so this is the demo so 
at first I will be putting some text inside this particular uh, spaces so then when I submit it basically the voice is produced by the app so we shall hear the the voices right now Ketua Jurulatih Skuad Bola Sepak Kebangsaan Kim Pan Gon enggan mengulas mengenai keadaan Padang Stadium Nasional Bukit Jalil Sel Okay, that will be the uh, file that produced by our app. So this is the demo for the desktop base apps. Eventually, there will be two things, uh, mobiles and desktop apps or TTS item. So I think that's all for our proposed product. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.